Jay Agarwal. I'm an economist. Uh, I teach at the University of Toronto, the Rotman School of Management. And I'm the founder of the Creative Destruction Lab, uh, which is a program for seed stage science-based companies. And uh, we have a, a concentration of startups in uh, working on AI-focused companies. And so we have 150 this year, 150 AI companies, which to our knowledge represents the greatest concentration of AI startups of any program on earth. Simply, we think of AI as a form of prediction. And we define prediction as using data that you have to generate data you don't have. And, and so effectively, that's, uh, that's what AI is. AI is a prediction tool. There are m many different uh, approaches to artificial intelligence. One approach is machine learning. And this is basically the idea of machines learning from data. Uh, and uh, so rather than having to be programmed, in other words, given a set of if-then-else type rules, uh, they learn from examples. So translation is an excellent example of uh, the recent progress in AI. Anyone who's tried translation a year ago and then tried it again today uh, is amazed by how much it's improved. And when they try translation, the important thing to keep in, in your mind is that the AI isn't understanding anything. It's simply predicting what the audio signals that it's receiving are, the, what those words are, and uh, and then what the uh, the translation, how we would speak that sentence in another language. So both is a prediction of the input and prediction of the output without understanding anything. You know, I think probably once or maybe twice in a, in a person's life, they live through a transformation that's as significant as what we're about to go through. And so I think all of us have done that with the internet uh, <clears throat> and we're about to go through it again. And so I think the conferences are a time, you know, we're social creatures, humans are social creatures, and this is going to be very significant. And in my view, you know, the presentations like mine are conversation starters, and the real action happens afterwards when people are at lunch and at dinner and in coffee breaks, and they are trying to make sense of what this means and how, you know, how we should move forward as businesses and as society. And so that's what I think the conferences are, are best for. It's really important that we ensure that AI is used properly for society. It's, it's a very powerful tool. And I think that if you and I were to meet five years from now, we could be talking about how great things are or how disappointing things are. And so it's up to us uh, as a civilization to make sure that, as this, you know, in some sense I view it like nuclear power, that uh, this thing is being unleashed and it's up to us to figure out how to make the best of it. And so I suspect at a conference like this a year from now, the big topic is going to be about goal setting, how to set goals for AI so that they know what to focus on uh, and that the goals are in some senses uh, regulated and controlled because that's going to determine the direction that this takes us. Mm -hmm.